What's up, YouTube? So, um, a lot of people been asking me like, "What's your why? Like, why? Why are you fasting? Um, is this for health reasons? Is it for you know manifestation, spiritual law of attraction? Uh, what is your why?" So, I want to give y'all some my whys because if your why is the most important factor in driving. Any, your why is the engine of your willpower's car. If you don't have a why, you are just going to just blow with the wind. You got to have a why, and your why has to be so strong or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, it depends on what it means to you. But I know I'm going to tell you all my why, um, why I'm fasting, why I'm on day three of my fast. Uh, you know, why I'm only drinking water, why I'm only drinking teas. Um, because there's a why, right? And I have multiple whys. Like, like, like some people got a V2, some people got a V3, some people got a V4, some people got a V6. Your, 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 however many, whatever the horsepower is of your, of your why makes it a faster or more powerful engine. You know what I mean? So, like, if you got a V6, let's say you got a V6 and you got, you know, that many reasons why you're doing what you're doing, then that's going to make you, you know, even more strong. Like, I mean, my engine is getting stronger with, with, with even the views that I get from y'all. Like, when, the more views I get from y'all, the more I feel like, you know what, yo, I, I got to keep doing this. So, like, for me, now for me my 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 why is for one like i said i'm testing out this law of attraction that's one right two i was diagnosed with high blood pressure at one point recently like maybe about a couple weeks ago two month ago or something like that um and i was like i'm not taking no pills I'm not taking no medicine. I'm I'm just not doing it. I'm sorry. Like I'm not taking no high blood pressure medicine. I gotta be on for the rest of my life. When you telling me that the only reason I have high blood pressure because like me, I let y'all know my weaknesses. Like I love I love you know jerk chicken. I love jerk curry chicken, cheese steaks, cheese fries, like all the stuff. I mean, jerk and curry not really that bad for you, but the cheese steaks, the cheese fries, you know, uh, the hoagies, the cheesecakes, the ice cream, the apple fritters, the chocolate, all that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff you just shouldn't be eating. Like, you know, I at one point fell in love with it, fell out of love with it, and then fell in love with it again. Um, so. I'm basically pushing reset on my temple, right? Not on my body, on my temple. Because the moment you classify this as your temple, then you're going to realize I got to keep it clean. And like, I know for a lot of you, think about the one thing you take pride in, right? The one thing that no matter what anybody else do, you're going to take pride in this one thing. So that's how you got to treat your temple. I'm going to take pride in it. And I don't want to like, come on, high blood pressure is bad. Like with high blood pressure, you could be walking somewhere and just pass out. Like everybody knows the effects of high blood pressure. So, you know, I'm, I'm manifesting some things as well. Um, and after this fast, I'm going to, you know, like I'm going to show y'all, like when I go to, when I go to the doctor, let them measure my blood pressure after this fast, um, after I push reset and I detox my body and part of my detox, I'm about to show y'all some of the things that I use to detox, um, because detoxing is important. Like not only should you be drinking the maximum amount of water you can, I mean, I would recommend drinking a gallon a day. Some people not there yet. Don't worry that you're not there. Don't worry about you can't drink a gallon. But the main thing I would suggest is that get as close to a gallon as you can. The closer you get to a gallon, the more you can detox. And I mean, I'm telling you, like, 
after day th after day two is gonna be the one of the hardest days. When you get to day three, that's when your body start like or your temple start starts resonating what's inside of it. Like it starts like you could when you drink some herbal tea, you're gonna feel the herbs going through your bloodstream. Like it's like the it's like the weirdest, most amazing thing, right? So, um, how many of y'all on day three? Like let me know. How many of y'all on day one, day two? Like let me know. Because whatever day you're on, I'm, you know, I'm going to just remain strong for y'all and myself. You know, like I said, the goal is to get to day seven, you know, um, and make sure that every day you're making intentions on why you're doing this, you know. But let me show you all what we're doing. So we're going to side, we're going to side the, uh, the West Indian market. Um, and we're going to grab some, some, some sorrel. You know, or or hibiscus, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm gonna grab some sorrel. We're gonna grab. Uh, I might grab some moss. Um, maybe I just grab the sorrel today. Uh, but remember, yeah, just the sorrel because the moss is more so like eating, and I'm not eating. I'm just gonna make a tea out of the sorrel. So let's go grab that, um, and I'll show y'all what y'all need to grab. And it's all right. So we're going inside the market. We're gonna grab some sorrel. I think that is on this aisle right. We're gonna mark it. You know you're in the market by the way it smells. It smells different than the other Um, so they got a couple bags. They got see this right here. I'm gonna have to get some of this. It's Irish moss, just to make some uh. I probably won't get it now. I'll get it when I come off the fast and get some, uh, you know, when I come off the fast, I'm gonna get some of that so I can start making some moss and smoothies. But for now, since I'm just making cheese, I'm gonna wanna get this. See this? Andrew Brown Sorrow. You wanna get some of that? I got ginger at home. You may wanna get some limes. Um, Cause remember we're making tea, so. Let's try to go find. Look. Man. So let's see if they got some limes here. Cause I don't have no limes. Uh, we'll see if we got some limes. Um, oh, that's good too. Apple cider vinegar. Yes. Definitely want that. Uh, so let's go ahead and pay for this. And then when we get home. I'll show y'all how I make my teas. All right, YouTubers. So we here. We back at the spot. And now we're going to... I'm going to show y'all how I make my tea. See right here, we have... You have your sorrel. I have my ginger. My lemons. My beater. My knife. My sifter. I'm going to take the ginger. My knife. And my beater. I'm gonna sit that right here. As you can see, I got my ginger here. So I, I really don't like the edges on there. It's just my preference. So I usually cut them off, as you can see. Um, so I get rid of them gems. But I like, normally like, just cut it up in little, little sections like this, right? And then I'll just like beat it, right? I'll beat it like that. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta beat it. Right? It's gonna splatter all over the place, but just make sure you don't hit your hand. It's a little messy when you beat it, but it's all right. So get your ginger. After I beat it, what I do is, I got me a little pot right here, right? I'm gonna just take this pot, right? Take out my little uh, strainer thing there. Just wash it out. So, got me a little pot. It's still got a little burn marks in there, but I don't really take that. Then you just go ahead and Put your ginger right in there. Right now, 
that's a whole ginger. So I think that should be enough. Um, all right, I also like to take my lemon and just roll it. Like if you roll your lemon, it'll make it easier for the juices to come out. Like it's almost like you're pre-juicing it. So I like to do that. And then what I'll do with the lemon is, I, I like to do two lemons because I, I really like the taste of lemon. And I like the fact that lemon is also um, a detoxifier. So you kind of want to have your lemon in there too. Um, so what I like to do is take my lemon, cut my lemon, right? And I do the same thing with the other lemon. Now don't worry about like stuff getting in there, like like me and like the grinder, the grind, the rinds or the seeds, things like that. Because all you gotta do is once you wash it off. We're gonna wind up straining it anyway. So, I got about four lemons, and what I do with those is I take those bad boys and put them right in there. Just like that. And then I just throw the whole thing in there. Like, why not? Now, trust me, some people are going to disagree. Well, everybody got their, if you look at any video on how people make, like, Cheryl tea, they're going to, they, they make it their own way. You know what I mean? This is how I make mine. Because I like the flavor of the lemon, so. You just make sure you put all that lemon in there. The smell of lemon and ginger together is like amazing. Like I love the smell. All right, so smell that. Mmm, it's so aromatic. All right, so now what you want to do is, if you look, we got our sore right here. Now I might just use one bag of this. This is probably about. It's like, it says like four and a half ounces, but I'm going to, uh, you probably, it's probably what, one, two, maybe about, we're going to pick like, I don't know how many bottles of water I'm going to use, but I'm going to show y'all real fast how many bottles of water I'm going to use, so let me measure this out real fast, so he can say. All right, so if you look, this is a measuring cup. This is about a cup right here. I would say this is about a cup, and if you look... If I was to open up one of these bags of syrup, right? Mmm, it smells so good. If I was to take one of these bags of syrup and I put it in here, as you can see, this is a cup, roughly, right? So, I mean, direction on here is say about pit like, you know, one cup of sorrel. Um, a quarter ounce of ginger and four cups of water. So this is about one cup. So we measure it. I'm gonna take this right here and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'll do it this way for you. I'll take these out, I'm gonna wash this out and then I'll show you what I'm doing. So if you look right here, right? Let's say I did it their way. Now, you're supposed to do it your way to taste. So if I just go, that's one cup, right? Two cups. Three cups. So I, was, I was relatively right. It's about four cups. So it's about roughly four cups in here, give or take. So for now, I'm just gonna do it that way. I'll just do the one bag for now. Throw this away and wash it out. Now, what I like to do, you see that texture of that? It's like really, 
it's dry. So what I could do with anything, I could just do a quick rinse of it real fast, right? You see that? When it's dry, it comes out like that. I just wanted to show y'all that. How like aromatic and how it literally turns the color right away. So what we're gonna do now is it's dry, it's already pre-washed already, so you don't really gotta wash it. So I just wanted to show y'all on that. But now what you wanna do is just pour that. I just wanna show y'all what it does as soon as you pour water on it. See, it automatically takes that flavor already and that color. So you kinda just gonna pull it in there like that. Like I said, it's very aromatic. Like, and this is about, this will get me about a lot of sorrel. I'm talking about a lot. Like, uh, we're talking about, since that was about four cups, we probably can get about 16 cups, you know, of uh, sorrel tea out of this. So, you know, once you get that in there, you just kind of want to like move it around a little bit, right? You see how you still got that little bit in there? You kind of want to get that in there too. Get all that. You don't want to miss nothing. Cause this drink is amazing. Normally I would use, you know, a more, a different type of water, but this is what we have today. So I'm going to use my Deer Park spring water. And what I would do is so we want to go ahead and we're going to open them up. Let's get this set up if I can. All right, so you basically just want to pop the cap off of these. Just gonna do it real quick. One, two, three, four. All right, so basically what you want to do now, just go ahead, pull them in there. Three, one. Like if you could if you could smell this right now, you would be like, mm, mm, mm. so that's one. All right, we'll do the same thing with the other one. Go over here so y'all can see it. So again, bottle of water. Two. Four. Now what I would do is, at that point, just turn the fire on. The, as you can see with the fire, I don't know if you can see it, I don't have it up too high. I got it to like a a medium simmer. So I'll just move this over so you can see. Don't do this at home like I'm doing this, but we want to put this to like a medium simmer. You know, and as you can see, um, it's really picking up that sorrel color. Now the trick is, traditionally, you would leave this on for 12 hours, traditionally. Now, but what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna leave it on for about four. So in about four hours, we will be back. All right, so I'm gonna let this simmer and seep and do what it needs to do for about four hours. And then after that four hours, we'll be back, all right? So stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how I make all my different teas. Um, this is one that's like sorrel is good. Um, it's great. It's a great antioxidant. Um, it's it, it helps your urinary tract flow. Uh, it it has niacin in it. Uh, it's an anti-inflammatory. Uh, it has anti-cancer benefits. Uh, it's it's a great great detoxer for your body. Um, so you want to drink sorrel tea while you're detoxing like it's one of the greatest 
like like flowers that you can like put in water and make a tea out of. So um, it's great. Uh, Angel Brand makes great sorrel. Uh, it's pre-dried and pre-washed already. So um, like I said, about four hours. I'm going to show you all how this baby came out. And it's delicious. And then we'll strain it. And then we'll drink it. It's going to be good. So peace. All right. So it's about ready now. As you can see, I turned it off, turned it back on, let it sit. It's still smoking. Um, I'm still going to let it sit overnight, but as for now, I'm going to have me a glass of tea. So what I do is, before I even, I'll sift it in everything later, but what I like to do is take my little measuring cup and just kind of go in like that. Right now, sorrel is very messy sometimes, so you just gotta be careful with that. And then I'll just kind of like pour it in my glass. Right, I'll do like another, just kind of get the liquid. And I'll get just enough of my glass of tea. Now, as you see, this is enough to last me for a while. Excuse the mess. Like I said, it gets real messy with cereal. So that's about the mess you're going to have. And all you got to do is wipe it up and clean it up. But yeah, here it is. My cereal tea. So that's how I make my cereal tea. Uh, let me know if you like it. Recipe, what I would suggest you start off with like one lemon or two lemons. Um, I like the taste of lemon, so mine's like really lemony. Um, if it's too bitter for you, add some more water or, you know, just use less lemons or less ginger. But uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, like it. Give me a thumbs up. And thank you for watching.